Here's what's happening, y'all. On Monday night, the Democrats got together to vote on whether or not to impeach Donald Trump. And guess what happened? By a seven to one majority, they said, hell yeah, let's get him out of there. Now, what the grounds were for this impeachment, the grounds included uh, violations of the Foreign Emoluments Clause and the Domestic Emoluments Clause. Basically, he's taking money from foreign governments while he's still President of the United States, even after he won. So, that's illegal. And it's grounds for impeachment. Now, it goes on to say that these violations undermine the integrity of the presidency, corrupt corruptly advance the personal wealth of the president and violate the public trust. Now, I thought it was established that he had violated the public trust when he put that wig on and, and you know, his skin started changing into the, the Cheeto color. So I thought things was kind of out of line right there. I, I mean, even before he started opening his mouth, I really didn't think he deserved to be President of the United States. But so, so, so be it. Now, as such, the council called on the United States of House of Representatives to support a resolution authorizing and directing the House Committee on the Judiciary to investigate whether sufficient grounds exist for the impeachment of Donald J. Trump, President of the United States. Now, in effect, like I said, Cambridge has become the fifth, the fifth, the fifth city in the U.S. to vote to impeach Donald Trump. And some of the other cities include uh, Charlotte in the state of Vermont and three California cities. That means Al Al Alameda, Richmond, and Berkeley. California ahead of the curve on us, y'all. We got to catch up. They know what time it is. Now, I was checking out a conservative site, which I like to do. I like to watch them like they watch me. And I heard them running their mouth talking about, well, if you impeach Donald Trump, it's going to be an uprising. Well, I be damned. Well, bring it on. I think this country could use a good old uprising. Since we're getting so many liberties taken away from us every day, Come on with it. Maybe we can stop these policemen from being so out of control. Maybe we can stop all of this excessive government spending. Maybe we can stop these politicians from lying and, and throwing us under the bus. And, and we can stop the FDA from allowing these companies in, to put all these chemicals in our food. We can stop these uh, uh, pharmaceutical companies from jacking up these prices and coming up with these medications to make us get on other medications and make us even sicker. So come on with the uprising. I'm looking forward to it, man. Who going to start it off? Holler at me, man. I'm looking forward to it. Come on with the uprising. What I want to know is where the hell was the uprising when Barack was in office? You know, what, you know, what, what happened for that? You know, like what, what happened with the uprising when Barack was in office? You know, why you wasn't mad? at the people who didn't support Barack Obama. Why all of a sudden you got a president and you want the Constitution to be respected and you want the office of the presidency to be respected? Now, nah. hell no, nah, it don't go like that. You got to take this medicine, man. You got to get what you give. You reap what you sow. Yeah, you never thought you'd see this day, huh? See, you, you play uh, liberals and the Democrats and moderates and even independence so weak to an extent that you never imagined that people was going, you was going to have this kind of pushback. You never imagined that pushback because you're arrogant. You think you run everything and you know everything and you can do whatever you want to. You classic case of bullies. But now the shoe is on the other foot. And the exact same thing y'all did to Barack is happening to Donald Trump. In fact, it's worse for him, though, because... This dude is totally out of control. 
he totally, he more illegal than any illegal immigrant he'd been calling out. Now, the, the, the Trump supporters, they also, this, this, is one, this is one of the other things that somebody said on the site. And I'm going to read this quote. Those who will not accept the election are willing to destroy the country in order to destroy Trump. Y'all let me know if this, this, this sounds familiar, this tone sounds familiar to y'all. There's a group of people that would take it to this point and then blame Trump for not stepping down. If they were willing to accept him as the president, he will be able to do much for the country. Does that sound familiar to y'all? Let me take a quick break and I'm going to come right back. Hey, give me 20 seconds. I'm going to let this commercial run. Hey. Don't go nowhere because I'm going to wrap this hard. Yeah. So now they want everything to be cool. They want everything to be all respectful. They want everybody to just bow down and accept Trump. Like, if the dude was half as qualified to run this country, I don't think you'd have this much pushback. But the dude is straight trash. He's totally 1,000% unqualified. Now, the people who voted for him because they thought he was going to bring jobs back, y'all in for a rude awakening. Donald Trump was running jobs overseas while he, before he was president. And that means that he had, he had a strong incentive to ship jobs overseas, to get in cahoots with companies who hire overseas workers, who take American jobs overseas. What the hell you think he gonna do when he have all that power? What you think he gonna do? What you think he kicking it with Russia for? You thinking he just kicking it because he like Putin? Man, this dude is getting, this dude is looking for a check, man. He looking for a check. That's why he doing it. It ain't for no other reason. This dude is looking for a check. And I can't believe y'all allowing this dude to con y'all the way you allowing him to con you. Now, some of y'all don't just don't give a damn. Some people, they want what they want. And they don't mind cutting off their nose to spite their face. They don't mind throwing the baby out with the bath water. They just don't mind. They don't mind because they pain freaks. Some people would rather, you know how some people out there in life would rather uh, food go bad before they give it to somebody that need it? You got people out there would rather throw away some clothes than to give it to Goodwill or call somebody up and say, hey, man, y'all come get these clothes. They would rather not see anybody with it. That's how the conservatives operate. But now all of a sudden, they want us to act civilized. For eight years, we told them, get this man a chance. For eight years, they threw the country under the bus. For eight years, it was cool. They spent every waking moment Riding Barack Obama, talk, trying to figure out everything they could to undermine his presidency and his legacy. Everything they could think of, they did. And the minute Trump get in office, we supposed to all just bow down and support it and accept it? Hell no. Hey, man, I'm voting for impeachment. Impeach. Get them out of there. Lock them up. Lock them up for treason. Put them in jail and feed them monkey nuts all day long. Yeah. We ain't playing no games. Feed them monkey nuts all day long, man. Y'all see me looking down. I'm looking at some of y'all comments. And, you know, hope, you know maybe I'll inject it into the, to the conversation. But I'm reading what y'all saying while I'm talking. And, you know, I may, I may throw some of y'all off by that. But, hey, you know, I love... To engage my audience and I love bringing y'all into these discussions and hey I'm not even mad if if a conservative jump on here and got something something to say 
I don't mind as long as you're being respectful, man. I don't mind you coming over here. I don't, we can agree to disagree. It's cool with me. I'm a grown man. Uh, I'm, I'm used to uh, uh, being in a situation where uh, I'm being opposed. I'm used to that. I'm used to challenges. I'm used to, I'm, I'm used to opposition. You know, but and I'm, but I'm also used to sitting down and being able to work out my differences and being respectful. So as long as you're respectful, man, you can come on here and we can have a conversation. Donald Trump, your man, come on over here and prove to me why he's your man, but do it in a respectful manner and let me know how, you know, explain to me in a sensible manner, how is this dude your man and what about him that makes you think that he's qualified to run this country. And I am, I'm not saying just say all the good things about him. Also acknowledge the other things that you would think that was questionable if anybody else did it, especially if Barack had done it. If Barack was kicking it that close with, the pre with a foreign president, especially a president who represents a country that America has historically had strained ties with, how would you feel if Barack was that close with somebody and getting money from them? Come on, man. Let's be real about it. I'm going to run a commercial, then I'm going to come back and close up. All right. Hey, and I want to say this, man. Just like I said that I don't have a problem with conservatives coming on here and voicing their opinion. As long as you ain't trolling, I'm cool with that. But I don't have, like I said, I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with conservatives coming on here. I don't have a problem with liberals and Democrats and moderates and independents. I don't, I don't have a problem with anybody coming on here as long as you're respectful. And just like I expect them to be respectful, I respect, I expect my audience, the people that support me, the people that dig my videos and and appreciate what I'm doing, I I expect the same amount of respect from y'all. So I, I'm not down when I when I read. I just read a post where somebody said kill all white people. I ain't, I ain't with that shit, dog. You know I'm I'm not I'm not with that. And you can say what you want to say about me, but uh, you can't prove it. You know if it's something negative where you're just saying that you're saying something about me just because you don't like what I'm saying, then you just you just bumping your gums. I, I don't appreciate the. The kill the whitey shit. I don't appreciate the kill the cracker shit and fuck them and that, that, that. Man, look, man, we all in this shit together. We ain't got no choice. And that's the thing that we've been trying to tell people all along. We ain't got no choice but to work together. There's no way possible we can, white people going to be able to live in this country all by themselves. They got to come in contact with us. They got to deal with us. Hispanics, they got to deal with us. Latinas, they got to deal with us. Uh, we got to deal with them. Asians, we got to deal with them. They got to deal with us in this country. Now, you want to be somewhere where you ain't, you can control the population. You can 100% control the population. Move your ass to an island. You know, even if you, you're Asian and you go to China, you're going to run into people of other, other groups. So, you know, I, I'm not with that, man. I'm really, I know it's, it may not sound like it to some of y'all because I'm always talking about these issues that concern us. These issues of when I'm always talking about injustice, injustice that so happened to go on in America that's uh, that's that's um, controlled by the ruling class, which is happen to be whites. But the thing is that man, if this don't apply to you, if you white and you ain't out there actively trying to stop uh, black people from progressing or anybody else from progressing, if you ain't beating your chest on that white superiority shit, man, I'm not talking to you, and you should not be offended. And I'm straight up. This is something I don't have to say. I, I've always been candid with y'all. So I ain't got to make shit up or try to pander to the base and kick it and try to get likes and votes. I don't care about that shit. If you don't like truth and you don't appreciate what I'm saying, hey, man, kick rocks. You know, if, if, you, if, you, if I put out 20 videos, 30 videos, and you thumbing up and you loving the shit out of it, and then I put up one video and you say, ah, oh, man, Willie D, you cooning, fuck you, fuck you. Nah, nigga, fuck you. For real. Because we're not going to always agree. We're just not, I'm not going to always agree with everything you have to say. You know, hey, man, I love Bo Boyce Watkins. I love 
Tariq Nasheed, uh, Dr. Umar. You know, I'm going to tell you something, man. Anybody that's really doing there's people out there like Phil, who's over at the advice, uh, the, uh, on the advice show. Y'all go check that dude out, man. But, you know, I love these cats, man. But we all, we have different opinions sometimes. I've been on their shows and we actually disagreed on their shows. You know, we're not, it's okay that the person don't think and say every single thing that you agree with. That's okay. It's called an opinion. It's called democracy. It's okay that we don't agree with every damn single thing, every single point. It's okay. But the ultimate goal should be unity. The ultimate goal should be to get along. People that's walking around always mad, mad at everybody, mad at everybody that don't look like them, that don't think like them, that's not in the same party that they're in. They waking up. All y'all doing is killing y'all damn selves. Y'all ass is going to die early. Because that's a lot of pressure. That's a lot of stress to just wake up mad every damn day. You can't escape it. Make waking up mad because you feel like the world owe you something or somebody didn't done you wrong and you ain't done, you ain't responsible for your own plight at all. Somebody else is responsible for your condition. Totally, 100%. You know, you have no nothing to do with it. So I ain't riding like that. I ain't rocking like that. Let's be respectful, y'all. We all grown. Well, most of us are. So let's act. Having said that, I'm going to close it with this, y'all. Donald Trump, I can't wait for his ass to be impeached. But let's say he wasn't impeached. It could be a blessing in disguise. Because if he don't get impeached and he run that four or four years, he is going to do incredible damage to this country. He is already rolling back race relations 50 years. He's doing a lot of damage already. He's already made it okay for people to think that you can ride on people with disabilities, special needs people. He's already made people think it's okay to accost somebody on a subway and disrespect them or swing on them because they are Muslim or because they are of a, a, a different ethnicity. He's already made it okay to sexually harass women. I bet you if they ran a report right now on Donald Trump to see, uh, well, not, not on Donald Trump, but ran a, a, a report on sex crime since he became president, I bet you it's higher than normal. Because there's a lot of cats out there thinking, man, this is good old boy, man, Donald Trump, our president says it's cool to grab him by the pussy. So he's got to be cool. He's the president of the United States. It don't get no bigger than that. So if it's okay with him, imagine going down the line, the secretary, the, the, uh, the uh, attorney general, Jeff Sessions, and everybody under him, imagine how they think. Because he's only going to pick people that he can get along with, that he trusts, and that, and that have similar thought patterns. So Imagine how they're thinking. Imagine what these guys, how these guys think. So if certain crimes come into play, sex crimes come into play, imagine how lenient they're going to be on it. Imagine how that, that guy, I think his name is uh, uh, Gos Gosich, the, the, the guy that they're trying to get in to become the Supreme Court Justice. Imagine how they think about women's issues, women's rights, cases of sexual abuse. Imagine. Imagine. So he's going to do a considerable amount of damage if he get to run for uh, four years. I doubt seriously if he'll be a two-term president, but at the same time, shit, I doubted that he could ever become president. Who knows? But whatever it is, whatever his term, however long he's in there, he is going to do major damage. And that will be all we need to roll that ass right up out of there in the next election. Because all of those uh, voters who voted for Hillary Clinton are going to get regalvanized. Those people that are in the Republican Party who don't like him, who have already turned on him, they're going to be voting a, a different way. It's, it's going to be a revolution. It's going to be a political revolution. That's, that's, that's what I believe. But Back, I just got to cover this one more time. Back to 
the people who talk in uprising and revolution if he gets impeached. Man, ain't nobody scared of your ass. Bring it. Ain't no fun with the rabbit got the gun. 